Hey guys, this is Josh here from Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you all an identification video on water hemlock. This umbel of white flowers that we can see in front of us are the flowers of water hemlock. This is an extremely easy plant to identify, but it's also one of the most deadly plants known to man. So it's extremely important to know how to identify this. You might notice that I'm not actually touching it too much, and that's generally because touching this plant can simply be enough to cause a rash or even spread some of its toxins onto your skin, which can then carry over later. So I'm not going to be touching this plant like I normally do. Let's take a closer look at these flowers here. Whenever we look at the flowers of water hemlock, we're going to notice that they are very sparsely populated in these umbels, kind of like an upside down umbrella like you would expect to see with regular poison hemlock. You can see how much space there is in between each one of these stems or bracts, if you will, that lead off into this cluster of flowers. This is one of the major indicators of water hemlock. Now let's take a look at its leaves. Whenever we look at the leaves of water hemlock at the base of the plant near the ground, we're going to notice this compound structure very, very similar to poison hemlock. These leaves are technically leaflets. All these what look like leaves are technically leaflets. These leaves are also much smaller than they are on regular poison hemlock, so keep that in mind. If we look really closely at them, however, we're going to notice these veins coming off at kind of like a 45 degree angle from the mid rib. We can see the mid rib here, and we can see these veins running at a 45 degree angle from the leaf. If we look at the tip of the leaf, we're going to notice that it comes to a very nice point and we can see some of the teeth running along the margin of this leaf here in the center of the frame. Right here we can see some more of the leaves of our water hemlock plant, and you can see this compound structure that they have. And the higher up we go along the plant of our water hemlock, we're going to notice that these compound leaves get smaller and smaller, and we're going to see about three leaflets towards the top of the plant. This is about two inches from the very, two to four inches from the top of the plant. And we can see these three to four little leaflets coming out here. We can also see more of those teeth margins and those veins that I was talking about. We can see those a lot more clearly here on this picture. Another thing we're going to notice if we look at the leaves, we're going to notice where these leaf and leaflets actually come out. We're going to notice another purple splotch like we can see in the center of the frame. If we look along the stem of our water hemlock, we're going to notice that it's round, green, with this purple splotching or purple tinging that is just oh so common with your hemlock species. This is a really good indicator of a hemlock species. Now, I do want to mention there are some plants that have purple splotching that are not hemlock. Make sure you keep that in mind. If we look at the leafing pattern of our water hemlock, we're going to notice that it has an alternating leafing pattern just like we can see here how these leaves will alternate up and down the stem. And in the nodes is where we're going to notice that purple splotching or that purple tinging, and the rest is going to be generally green. However, there is some variation with that. Here if we look at the stem of this water hemlock, we can actually see that this stem is a lot more purplish red than the other one that we were just looking at. So there's not only a couple of variations to the leaves, there's a couple of variations to the stems that you're also going to be finding on your water hemlock plants. This white powdery substance is actually like a bloom. If you rub that, it will come off on your fingers. I'm not going to rub it because just simply touching this plant can be enough to spread its toxins. So that's how you guys can identify water hemlock. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you all learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles, medicinal plants, or even poisonous plants, please make sure to subscribe.